Hey everybody, I'm Tom LeBlanc. I'm the editor of Commercial Integrator. Today I'm lucky to be joined by Frank Graziano, CEO of Chromas Fiber Optics. Hey Frank. Hey Tom, how you doing? Not bad. So today I want to talk to you about active optical cables. And All right, so I think that this is kind of becoming more of an important tool that many integrators feel like they have to have in their toolkit. Why, why do you think that that's sort of gaining momentum? Well, you know, we're seeing a phenomenon occur in the audio video world that uh, started and is more developed in the data center world where data rates uh, are getting uh, higher and higher at a quicker and quicker rate. So, um, you know, in the data center, we've gone from 1G to 10G to 25, 100, 400G backbones. Uh, and you're seeing a parallel path, a uh, little bit with a bit of a lag in uh, AV going from, uh, you know, HDMI 1.4, 10 gigs per second. Now uh, 2.0, 18 Gbps, uh, the newly released HDMI 2.1 standard, 48 Gbps. And so is the need to move more data over the same pipe uh, over longer distances uh, gets more difficult. Copper becomes less of a uh, preferred medium for that transmission. And so what's happened in a data center is you've had copper being displaced by optical links that is now happening in AV. So it, it, it really is a technology that integrators and uh, custom installers have to become familiar with. So we just recently did this piece. Um, it was kind of a, an analysis of the state of AV networking and you know a lot of different acronyms out there. And you know, in talking to you um, about it, you, know, you you said something that kind of stuck in my mind, where you called active optical cables uh, something that could be kind of alternatives, but also complements to some of those high-speed AV signal distribution technologies like HD base T and AV over IP and SDVoE. And I just wanted you to kind of talk about what you meant by that. Well, so yeah, so you're an installer, uh, you're an integrator today. You've got all these different uh, solutions, all these technical solutions for getting a high-speed uh, AV signal uh, from uh, a source to a device, uh, to a display or, or, or a sync, as we call it. Uh, so yeah, you mentioned some of them, HD base T, uh, SDVoE, uh, AV over IP. Uh, and then you also have, uh, and, and so you know, they all come with uh, you know, their pluses and minuses. Uh, many, of H, many of these alternatives require some sort of encoding, decoding. So you can have the compression, decompression of the, uh, of the video signal, maybe with latency issues that may or may not be desirable. Uh, the nice thing about an active optical cable and some uh, Balin solutions where you have a, an optical link, uh, the video is going uncompressed over whatever the applicable distance is from source to display. And so there's no latency issue. You're getting a full uh, you know, experience of, uh, of, the, of the original uh, content. Now, um, an active optical cable has the benefit of just being really simple. It looks uh, externally, like a, a an AV cable, it's got an HDMI, for example, uh, plug on one end, HDMI plug on the other. There's a lot of magic going on in between those connectors. Sophisticated optoelectronics, uh, the optical fiber, uh, in our case, hybrid cables that carry the low-speed signals over copper wires. But from the integrator standpoint, they don't need to know anything about fiber to use a solution like that. Uh, the other advantage is. Uh, with some of these other signal distribution uh, solutions, you have to power both ends of the link, uh, at least one, sometimes both ends of the link. And uh, with the uh, low power active optical cables that uh, we provide and that are available from others out there in the marketplace, you just plug it into the uh, port on the source, plug it into the port on the display, the cable is powered off the uh, five volts from the HDMI port. And so it really is truly a simple solution. And what we're finding in the market is that for high definition uh, links of about 100 feet or less, 30 meters or less, uh, active optical cables tend to be the preferred uh, uh, solution. Uh, if, uh, if you're going longer, um, you know, maybe you use an active optical cable, but uh, I think then we see HD base T, for example, being more popular for links of 30 meters or 100 feet or more. All right. Good stuff. Frank Gaziano, CEO of Chromas Fiber Optics. Thanks for spending some time talking to the commercial integrator audience. My pleasure, Tom. Thank you.